Well, efforts to help Buffalo neighbors were very visible today across the city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. That doesn't mean it's been perfect. However, bus stops and some side streets remain clogged, but we've got some warmer weather coming up soon, so that could definitely help. Channel 2's Liz Lewin has more for us live on Moselle Street in the city tonight. Liz. Hi, yeah, good evening, Claudine. Snow, snow, and more snow. Just take a look. Photojournalist Ryan Kohler is going to pan. You're going to see city plows still clearing up here almost as the sun's starting to set. Certain areas throughout the city got a lot of attention by plows because they needed it. I spoke to the commissioner, Mike Finn, earlier, who says his team has been working around the clock as they're continuing to clear as much snow as possible from residential streets. As you mentioned, three back-to-back -back storms in a short window has made their jobs challenging, he says. Throughout the day, members of our team at two saw several cleanup efforts over on Humboldt Parkway. Then we headed over to Eugene Avenue in North Buffalo. We're still hearing from the community, though, about frustration when it comes to these sidewalks, especially as it relates to public transport and kids getting on school buses. Brenda Starks, for instance, lives in the Fillmore District here off of Moselle and is a concerned parent. Starks' 12-year-old son, Dante, has to stand on the street to wait for a school bus because she says the sidewalks are packed. My biggest concern is, is that my son, when he does go to the bus stop, he has to stand on the corner because they have him shoveled or plowed, and he's like right in the street. And I fear that somebody's going to either hit him because they're sliding in the snow. But now he's standing on the opposite side of the street by Juneteenth. So that way, when the bus comes, he can walk across the street, which is not safe. Because now he has to cross the intersection to get on the bus. Yeah, of course, safety is top of mind for a lot of families. Commissioner Fizz says it's important business and property owners pay attention to their sidewalks and bus stops. Now, the city is not responsible for clearing sidewalks that fall under private property. So let's break that down. That means if you're waiting at a bus stop, be it for an NFTA bus or a school bus, that sidewalk is the responsibility of the abutting property owner to clear. If that's not being done, you need to call 311 and report it immediately. Now, the city says several steps can be taken, Claudine, when it comes to maintaining these sidewalks. Property owners, as I just mentioned, you want to keep in mind that if you don't maintain your sidewalk, you could be subject to an ordinance violation. Now, if you can't maintain the sidewalk, the city says give them a call, they'll do it, and they'll just bill you for the work. Here on Moselle State in Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.